Who do we name people? Hi, Andrea. Good evening. Hi. Andrea Dayanara, you disappeared yesterday. Where were you? No, I was <laughs> I was here. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, no, because your your the, the name your name is not very not very common, right? I know. So then, then I say that ah, okay, yes, she's always here. <laughs> Luis Miguel too. Hello, Luis Me. That's a Luis Me. Luis Miguel. Hi, Luis Yeah. Look, That's he look, look he looks like if he's in the studio, right? Not ready to mm -hmm. sing. Yeah. Recording. <laughs> okay, I, I, yeah, recording, correct. Okay, nice. How are you today? Maria Delmi. Hi. Good evening. Okay, hello, good evening. So we have, let me... Section two. Okay, we're going to Or that my platform is kind of slow in this moment. Okay, good. So then we have, um, I need to share my screen. Okay. So we have this, you know, imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you today? Uh, no, not good. Because I was sick. You've been sick? Yes, I am. Uh, I got sore throat. Cough, yes. A kind of kind of a kind of flu okay the call yeah i think it's because of the the weather right it's changing constantly coffee. yeah okay good and let me see juan carlos hello juan carlos hey we are only 11 we're supposed to be like 20. what are the others Okay. Sure. Yes. Uh, I didn't uh, do my homework because uh, I have a problem. I, I have a problem uh, with my uh, email. Uh huh. What's the problem? And but I talk uh, with the people in in people in, in the in the office. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. to, uh, to solve that, I don't know. To solve, to solve the problem? So, to solve the problem. Okay. Actually, uh, I guess that you have the platform activated today, right? Yes. Okay, but, good. Uh, I can, I can. Yeah, in your case, it's okay. No problem, okay? But just make sure that during the weekend, you know, and tomorrow, then you can uh, probably activate it and start um, doing the exercises so that you can be updated okay okay thank you no problem anna okay let's see so let's move forward with this topic we have a imperatives and infinitives right for giving uh suggestions 
yesterday we had wait a minute this is section one right see so see what I told you Okay. So it's the two word verbs. Let's remember the models. Okay, you remember this one, the knowledge check? So I'm just going to play back this one quickly. Request with modals and would you mind? Modal plus simple form of verb. Can you turn the stereo off? Could you close the door, please? Would you please take your garbage out? Would you mind, plus gerund. Would you mind turning the stereo down? Would you mind closing the door, please? Would you mind not putting your garbage here? When we talk about requests, it is okay to say, please turn the stereo off to people we know well. We should use a more polite request, however, for neighbors and strangers. Models become more formal and more polite from can to could to would. Notice the structure. Model plus subject plus simple form of verb. Usually, we add the word please at the end of the request when using could. And we use please in the middle of the sentence to make a stronger emphasis on the request with would. However, please may be omitted. Now let's go over with would you mind. When we use the entire expression would you mind, the verb which follows must be a gerund. This is how it is formed. Would you mind plus gerund or verb plus ing plus complement. We want you to notice two things. The use of please at the very end of the request. Remember you may or may not add it. And also notice a negative request. Would you mind, plus not, plus gerund, or verb plus ing, plus complement. Would you mind writing three unusual requests on a discussion box? I have one for you. Could you lend me your toothbrush? Go ahead and have Add it. And also notice a negative request. Would you mind, plus not, plus gerund, or verb plus ing, Okay, so remember this is a, a negative. This is to request is to ask, right? To ask for something, uh, but this is in a polite way. Uh, when you say, for example, uh, suppose that you you are the boss, okay, in the company, and you have a, a, a let's say, an employee who usually usually or always comes late and then the rest of the the rest of the co-workers feel uncomfortable and they tell you okay hey, look you know a uh, johnny always comes late and then we have to to start working early and then he's always late he does not help in the morning and then you come and you talk to to johnny and then you say hey johnny i need to to ask you something, right? I have a, uh, I need a favor, and then uh, and then you can tell me, okay? Uh, we, you know, your your friends, your coworkers, feel uncomfortable because you usually come late, and then uh, they need your help in the morning, but you're not here. So would you mind not coming late? 
okay, and joining your activities as early as possible. Okay, you are not being offensive, you're not being rude, but you are asking a person to do what he or she has to do, okay? But in a polite way. So then here they they uh, they are promoting right in this structure to be how to be polite, okay? How to be nice or sound nice when you request something from a person. Okay, this is Mercy. Let me see, Juan Carlos. Okay, and um, yeah, all right. Good. Then? Last compliment. Yes. Would you mind? What? Would you uh, give me an example uh, about the, would you, would you mind not lost Gerald, lost compliment? That's what I, huh? would you mind not coming? Or would you mind coming early? Would you mind coming earlier? Or in the negative, say, would you mind not coming too late? Okay, uh, or would you mind uh, not sitting in that place because uh, it has been recently painted and the paint is wet? Okay, uh, would you mind not driving so fast? Okay, would you mind not listening to the radio, uh, let's say too high or too loud? Uh, oh, here, for example, uh, suppose in the class, we usually recommend, would you mind turning on your cameras? Okay, it's a polite request. Would you mind not turning on your microphone if you're not participating? So this is, you know, uh, would you mind not? Would you mind to? Uh, would you mind doing this, but in a polite way, right? At the end, the decision is the person's, the other person's decision, right? So it's not an order, it's not a command, right? It's a request. Okay. Thank you, Sergio. Yeah. No problem. Okay. Remember this one. It says, could you yeah. lend me $20? Yes. You say, I remember it says, so uh, when we say red, are you kidding? I don't have any cash, right? Okay, then we have, uh, in this class, you will develop skills in guessing meaning from context and reading for a specific information. First, we're going to read. Neighbor versus neighbor. Okay, so we're going to. Okay, uh, Luis Miguel, would you please read this section? One, two, three. Okay, to introduce. Go ahead. The woman. Okay. The woman in the apartment upstairs play her piano after my midnight. The family across the street never cleans, never cleans up their, their yard the garbage blow in your in what do you say into 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 your yard the guys next door always parking parks his car in front of your dri drive, driveway 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 yeah very good okay uh, is it is this part clear people Everybody understands this? No new vocabulary? Uh, driveway. Driveway is, is, the, is... is the space where you park your car. Ahí en su parqueo, su cochera, right? That is the driveway in front of your house, your place. What is the uh, difference? Uh, what, 
with driveway and parking? Oh, driveway is usually in front of your house. Okay, and parking is, you know, in the a big one, like the okay. parking lot, and then you have a parking space. Okay, driveway but is more personal. More, more for a house, yes, uh, more for a house. But you can say the my parking space is in front of my house. Okay, but it's better if you say the driveway, because in the houses there is like a, a in the entrance, you have a like grass. Right, and then it's like a garden in front of your house, but it's for the for the park of your car, and then that's why they call it the driveway. Okay, okay? it's clear. Thank you. Good, uh, Rebecca, would you please read the second paragraph? Have things. Okay, have the have things like this ever happened to you? If so, you may. As yourself, who are these people? Why are they don't doing doing these things to my to me to me? To, excuse me. Okay, very good. So this is, for example, sometimes you know in your in your neighborhood in your colony, it says have this. Uh, have things like this ever happened to you that your neighbor you park your car and then your your neighbor parks his car behind your car and then sometimes you want to leave but your neighbor is parked right there in front of you and then you have to go and say hey move you know do this and do that right then who uh say if so may you ask may you may ask yourself, who are these people? Why are they doing this to me? You know, sometimes we don't understand why the other people behave in that way. Okay, mm -hmm. Andrea, Diana, go for the next one. These, may, these days. These days, many people don't know their neighbors. Sometimes we share a friendly way or say hello. But a lot of people don't even know the neighbors' names. When you don't know someone, it's easy to boil up frustration and resentment. I can see you more. Oh, yes. <laughs> Let me see Please. if we can do it. Oh, here. Okay. You think maybe they like to annoy me. Or maybe they do they do it deliberately. I Deli don't know how to yeah, de deliberately. Yes, good. Deliberately, okay. Deliberately. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Okay, uh, this is true, right? Sometimes nowadays, I remember when I was a uh, a kid, a teenager, we knew we knew the all the people in the neighborhood, right? And then we say, for example, the niña main chair, right? So we knew that it was the lady in the corner. Uh, then we knew, for example, Doña Alicia, who was the lady from the uh, convenience store in the neighborhood. So we knew uh, the names of uh, the people in our neighborhood. Now this is a little bit more uh, difficult because, you know, we're working all the time. So sometimes, you know, we only we know the car or sometimes probably just uh, the voices of some of our neighbors, but we don't really know their names because we don't we don't see them very often, right? Okay, let me see. Uh, Mercy. Can you hear me? I don't know if Mercy was. Yes, let me check something. No, Mercy, yeah. Then, uh, Martin. Okay. Can you read the other paragraph? Believe to them first. Believe it or not, your neighbor probably don't mean to irritate you. Often they don't even know that they, they're getting on your nerves. So before you take extreme measures to fix the problem, you should, you should discuss it with them first. First, very good. Okay, you know, this happens, right? No, sometimes, you know, 
uh, it says, believe it or not, your neighbors probably don't want to, to irritate okay, you. They probably, they don't know that they are getting on your nerve. For example, when you say you are getting on my nerves is you are making me feel angry and bad. Okay, something, you know, when we are frustrated, you know, with the sometimes the children, right? They they make a lot of noise, and then you say, "Be quiet!" You know, don't just go to bed, take a shower, brush your teeth, and that they never listen. And then you say, "Okay, they are getting on my nerves. You know, I'm getting angry, mad, frustrated." Okay, so then this is something that happens. And then uh, usually we want to fix problems, being aggressive or maybe violence. Okay, but sometimes it's better if we talk, if we have a conversation with our neighbors. Okay, let me see now, Amanda, would you please read the next paragraph? Yes, when, when you uh, approach, approach, approach your neighbors, you should talk to them in a friendly manner. Compliment their children or do something else to make them feel good. Then explain the situa situation and if you can think of a sim simple solution, suggest it. Suggest it, right? Yes. Okay, you see that, for example, you should talk to them in a friendly way, right? And not to be so aggressive, compliment their children or do something else to make them feel good. Okay, then uh, Maria, read the next three lines. If to situation. Hello, Maria. Yeah. Okay. Mm, if uh, this talking doesn't work, Ask another person to help. This person can listen to both sides of the story and help you and your neighbor resolve the situation. Okay. Finally. No, it's okay. That's so, right. Situation. Good. Thank okay. you very much. Yes. And then we have, for example, if if you talk to them and they continue, then, for example, ask another person to help you. Okay. Probably, you know, if you have another neighbor, and then we can both talk to him so that will probably help solve the situation. So you have a solution. And finally, Juan Carlos. Wait, you see. Okay, this is the other one who says that. Okay, Catherine, read the last three lines. What? The last. Read the last three lines. Finally. Finally, sometimes. Um, where? Oh, finally, sometimes it's a good idea to avoid the problem, depending on the issue. It might be best to just stay out of your neighbor's way. Okay, yes. Okay, to avoid the problem. So if you see that there is no solution, it's better to stay away, right? So that the problem does no go more, uh, let's say it doesn't grow and doesn't go bigger. Okay, now having this information, we can uh, answer this, it says, read the article, then match each word with its meaning. And then says here, resentment. What is a resentment? A way of behaving, anger that grows over time, and a problem or difficulty on purpose, a step taken in order to achieve something, bother or annoy. Mm 
What is resentment? What is the definition? A way, way of behaving. A way of behaving. Mm, not exactly. Bother or unknown. A step taking in order to achieve something. No. When you are resented, resent. So resentment. Okay. That you feel you feel bad when somebody did something to you and you could not say or, or annoyed. Huh? Or annoyed. Eh, no. No. This is more than that. Get that rose all the time. Negative and emotional reacting to being mistreated. Okay, let's do the number two. And after we can go back and see the elimination process. Deliberately. Deliberately. Oh, I, I think so I have the, the, the answer. Is, um, maybe on your that goes out there no, over time. Uh, can you, this one, anger, what, deliberately? No, yeah. Person? Oh, no, 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 the, the one question. Ah, the first one? Oh, yes, the third one. Which one do you say? The anger that grows over time. Anger. Anger. Anger, anger that grows over time. Okay. What about the other one? Deliberately. A way to behave in on purpose, purpose, on purpose. Yeah. Okay, Herbert. Irritate. Irritate. Oh. Anger. Yeah. Bother or Bother. annoy. Bother or annoy. Okay. Let's see. Measure. Measure. Oh, and I'm probably talking in order the Ashipe. A step taking in order to achieve something. Order to achieve something. Measure. Okay. Yes. Manner. A way of way, a way of behaving. A way of behaving. Result. Resolve. And problem and a problem, and a problem or difficulty. And a problem or difficulty. And then we have. <sighs> okay. One is six is correct, five is correct, four also correct, three, two, one. Okay. So this is, you know, a way to to learn how to describe words, how to give definitions in the same language. Yes, okay. Amanda, what is your question? Sir, may I speak in Spanish? Uh, what is the Spanish? <laughs> okay, <laughs> tell yes, me what happened. Sí, eh, disculpe, ahora yo intenté resolver eh, este, eh, esta parte del curso, pero eh, no me aparecía para darle enviar a las respuestas. No, no, apare no aparecía. No, no aparecía activada. Uh -huh. Y en las otras que yo he resuelto, aunque algunas están equivocadas, siempre se le puede dar en diario y entonces ahí a uno le, le da en cuáles no se ha equivocado. Ba eh, ¿A qué hora fue eso? Porque vi, yo vi que era como a las 10, creo 11, ya había mandado que ya estaba activado. Ah, ok. 
Sí, sí, todo eso ya lo, ya lo puedo este, hacer, pero específicamente en este... No, no, no lo escucho bien, se ve. No, no okay. bien. Ahora sí. Hola. Sí, que no me aparece activado el botón de enviar. De enviar. Ok. Va, déjeme tomar nota de su nombre para reportarlo mañana. Me manda. Ok, un second. Pero no es en todos los ejercicios. O sí en todos. No, no en todos, específicamente en este. Ok. Sí, ajá, porque mm. si no le aparece después para tener problemas con. Van a creer que no lo ha hecho. Ok. Ok, good. Ok, yo lo reporto entonces mañana, ok. Y en la clase de mañana, le, o, o durante el día, yo le escribo al chat. Ok, good. Ok, anybody else? Now, let's see. Ok, that's the, that's the end. Okay. So remember in this unit, so we had the the two word verbs, right? So we have issues with the when it is a preposition. Okay, the use of these verbs. We also have the request with modal auxiliaries, can, could, and would you mind? Remember that can is informal. Can you help me? And could and would is for more formal requests. And then you have also more formal requests, just requests using uh, would you mind? And the negative request, would you mind not? Okay, would you mind not talking so loudly? Would you mind not talking? For example, you know, cuando alguien está gritando a uno, right? And then you said, okay, would you mind not talking like that to me, please? Okay, aunque la quiero como que, ¿le importaría no hablarme de esa manera? Would you mind not talking? So it's a very nice way to prevent a person, okay, to stop doing something, okay? Would you mind not ignoring me? Okay, would you mind not ignoring me? Sometimes you're talking to, to children and they, or teenagers, and they are looking to, oh, yeah, okay, they say, would you mind not ignoring me? Would you mind paying attention to me? So, okay, so it can be a difficult situation but you can always use uh, a nice way to express yourself. Okay, in general, this is it. Now let's go to the unit two, section two. Okay, in this class, you will be using infinitives and gerunds for uses uh, and purposes, right? Now, let's listen to this video.
I can hear. You can't? No, teacher. Okay, let me see. I can. I share the sound. Share sound. Okay. Hi, welcome. Join us in this new section. Now, yes? Now, yes. Okay, perfect. No. Here we go. About to explain that we can describe how something is used by either an infinitive or a gerund. Notice the meaning is the same. Pay attention and stay with us. Infinitives and gerunds for uses and purposes. Infinitives. I use my computer to send emails. Computers are often used to pay bills. Gerunds. I use my computer for sending emails. Computers are often used for paying bills. As said in our intro video, we will study infinitives and gerunds to express use and purposes. Keep in mind the meaning doesn't change. What changes is the structure. So let's go over the explanation on the difference between the two forms. With an infinitive, we must use to plus verb. Examples, I use my cell phone to call my friends. To call my friends is the purpose. With a gerund, we must use for plus verb plus ing. Example, I use my cell phone for calling my friends. For calling my friends is the purpose. Notice on both examples, the purpose or use is the same. It is also important for you to notice when using infinitives, we must use the particle to before the verb. And when we use gerunds, we use the word for. You can't say, I use my computer to sending emails nor I use my computer for send emails. Hi, welcome. Join us in this. Okay. Good. So you see the the gerunds or infinitives to talk about purpose, okay? What is a purpose? A purpose is the, not the, I mean, for the difference between reason, reason and purpose, okay? Reason is when you give a larger explanation, right? For example, why do you study English, Rebecca? Why do you study English? Yes, why do you study English? My, my job. Repeat, please. My is for my job. Okay, then you can say, for example, uh, because it is important for my job because okay. it is necessary for my job okay or you can say for example a purpose is more specific so you say for example what a why do you study english then you can say for example uh to let's say uh to have a better to have a better opportunity or to have more opportunities in my job okay uh to communicate with my clients to communicate uh, or to send emails okay to communicate with the uh, with my customers okay so then this is the purpose right so then when we're talking about purpose is something very specific good now listen to this that we can describe how something is used by either an infinitive or a gerund. Notice the meaning is the same. Pay attention and stay with us. Infinitives and gerunds for uses and purposes. Okay. Then you say, I use, I use a computer to send emails. 
Okay, what else do you use the computer to? For example, I I use the computer to work. Okay, I use the computer to work. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes I use the computer to listen to music. Okay, sometimes I use the computer to watch a movie. And a car? Then you say, I use the car? What will be? I use the car? Compliment. Finish the sentence. I for, use the car to go to my work. work. Okay, I use for the car go, for go to, to, my work. to go to my work, right? Mm. I use my car to go to my work. Okay, a, I use a pencil. To write. To write. Uh -huh. To write. I use to write a letter. A pencil oh. to write. Oh, to draw. Okay, to draw. A, I used. Uh, I just. I just a ball. Play soccer. To play soccer, correct. Okay, or to play basketball, to play tennis. Okay, depending on the sport that you like. Okay, then um, let's say uh, I use the uh, TV. To watch the movie. To, to watch. To watch a movie. To watch a movie. Okay, so then uh, why don't you write? Uh, for example, here, well, you can write it here. Oh. Then you can write it here, you know, to say, I use, I use, a microwave. I use a microwave. To cook, uh, to cook something. To what? To heat. my food okay okay so let's write something here Down, due to the time. You know, right here, uh, what is this? This. Purpose. That's right. Okay. Write sentences just in this. I have. I use microwave to heat the food, uh, to heat my food, to cook. And also you can say microwaves are often used to heat food. Okay. Which one we use? Make a popcorn. <laughs> Okay, to make popcorn. So I think it's better if. Okay, microwaves. Micro. Are used. To. What? 
to make popcorn, right? Popcorn. Okay, so there you have. And then you can add more sentences. The other one is just in four. I use my computer for sending emails. And the other one is computers are often used for paying bills. What is the difference? Only when you see four. Well, because you use the zero. It use the gerund, right? Remember that we can say that for is a preposition and after prepositions, we use the verbs in gerund, okay? Prepositions. Uh, when you say after, after finishing the class, you have to study or you have to go to sleep. Uh, before finishing the class, you have to practice. Okay, before leaving the class, you have to say goodbye. Okay, so this is, for example, the, 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 the use of the preposition. That's why after four, if you are going to use a verb, the verb has to be in general. Okay, and then you say, I use my computer for sending emails. I use my computer for watching movies. I use my computer for uh, for playing video games. I use my computer for working, okay? For taking uh, online courses or for taking virtual classes, okay? So then you're going to use uh, that form of the journey. Okay, now what is the first one? Satellites are used to study the world's weather, to study in the world's weather, or for to study the world's weather. For to study the world's weather. This one? No, the third. The first? Yes, the first, yes. Okay, the first, to study the world's weather. Okay, what about the second one? For performing dangerous takes. Tasks. For performing dangerous yeah. tasks. Okay, good. Number three. You can use a cell phone to send text messages. You can use cell phone to send text messages, yes. How about four? People use the internet. For making, for making travel reservations. For make, making, yes. That's correct. Five. DNA fingerprinting. To identify criminals is used to identify criminals. The first one. Yes. And the number six, see the rums. For storing and an encyclopedia, right? For a story and encyclopedia. Okay, good. Now, a for example, make sure 
Make sure that you answer all the questions. Okay, in the exercise. So that you can have, in this case, all of them are correct, okay? So you remember the structure Remember that if uh, okay, remember these exercises happen also that if you don't mark one question accidentally, the the button does not activate. Okay. Take a consider that just in case now that I saw that one. Okay, so if but if all of them are in the answer, so it activates. Good. Now we have, for example, the stress we in words with more than two syllables. The same. Pronunciation, syllable stress. Part A, listen and practice. Notice which syllable has the main stress. Satellite. Internet. Satellite. Internet. Photograph. Invention. Assignment. Computer. CD-ROM Engineer Entertain Where is the stress in these words? Can you pronounce them? Okay, what is the first one? Languages, okay, languages. The other one you say, for example, uh, understand. 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 Okay, then you robotics. have robotics, robotics, robotics. robotics. Uh -huh. then you have telephone, 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 telephone. transmission, <laughs> and look at the transmission in Spanish, okay, because in that one in English is not, there is no tilde, right, so then you have a transmission, Okay, transmission, and then you have the VCR. 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 So languages, understand, robotics, robotics. telephone, transmission, and VCR. Okay, so that's the VCR. Very good. Can you repeat with me? Languages. Telephone, transmission, That's correct. robotics, understand, VCR. So then the the letters that you see in yellow. Robotics. Those are the words that, that have the, the stress. The stress in English is like the accent in Spanish, right? But it's not... Uh, uh, orthographic is has to be only with the pronunciation. Languages, telephone, transmission, robotics, understand, VCR, VCR, VCR. These are languages, telephone, transmission. Robotics understand VCR. Okay, so this is how you can practice the pronunciation the ups and downs, ups and downs. 
understand VCR. Wait. Which is telephone. Okay, Anna. Read the words, please. Languages. Telephone. Transmission. Robotics. Understand. ECR. ECR. Okay, Catherine. Um, languages. Telephone. Transmission. Robotics. Yes. yes. Understand. BCR. BCR. Yes. That's right. Good. Uh, one more, Cesar. No, sister, we don't hear you. Probably you activated the microphone, the mic, but there is no audio. No. No, sister. Okay, Mercy. Languages. Telephone, transmission, robotics, understand, BCR. BCR, really good. Okay, Maria. Mm -hmm. Languages, telephone, transmission, robotics, understand, VCR. VCR. Okay, good. Uh, Luis Miguel. Okay, languages, telephone, transmission, robotics, understand, VCR. VCR, yes. Rebecca? Languages, telephone, transmission, robotics, understand, VCR. VCR. Okay, good. Nice. Okay, that's now, well, tomorrow we continue with this, but just first, just let me check uh, the attendance real quickly. Okay, so we have Amanda. Amanda is not here Present. today. Yes, right. Present. Then we have Ana Beatriz. Yes. Present. Dayanara. Yes. Mercy too. Angel Isaac. No. Uh, Byron. 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 No. Uh, Cesar Ivan. Yes. Cesar is here. The uh, Dennis Alani, no. Herbert. Present. Yes, Herbert is here. Juan Carlos, yes, Juan Carlos is here. Catherine also. Yeah. Present. Kenya, Yamilet. No. Luis Miguel, yes. Uh, Maria Delmi. I'm here. Yeah. Martin. Nuria Sarai, Rebecca, yes, Rebecca Vidail, and Stefan. Okay, so we're supposed to be four, eight, 11 out of 18. Okay, good. Then um, remember, try not to, not to miss classes, right? Because it's good to, to be listening. Uh, Try to participate also as much as you can. Remember that is basic for 
Okay, tomorrow we're going to study. Uh, let me see. The we have a practice, an um, oral com oral practice. It says practice a conversation about using a cell phone with imperatives and infinitives. Okay, imperatives are, for example, the stand up, sit down, a uh, wash your hands, like giving orders or commands. But when we use the word please, then we make the the meaning of this word softer, okay? Say stand up, order, stand up, please. It's a request, okay? Uh, close your computer, it's like an order. Close your computer, please, as a request, okay? So that's what we're going to practice tomorrow, okay? Um, don't forget, hey, then any, Everybody that uh, is using the platform, uh, yes. Uh, let's say it's working properly. Yes. Yes. Okay. Except for, uh, let me see, for Amanda, right? Amanda has an issue. Okay. Hopefully they will solve it tomorrow, Amanda. So I will let you know. Okay. Okay, people. That's all that we have for today. We have no more time. Uh, I will see you tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow is the the last day of the week, right? So then try not to miss the class. Okay, bye-bye. Okay. Have a very good night. Good night, everybody. And see you tomorrow, okay? Bye. Bye.